Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. On today's video, we're going to talk about Stoltz bow rollers. I know you guys have probably seen it all over the forums, the chat groups online. You see people talk about Stoltz bow rollers and you wonder what is all this chatter about? Why is everyone always talking about Stoltz bow rollers? We thought the th same thing. We didn't really understand what the hype was about, so we started investigating and come to find out there's a really a great reason people are upgrading their factory trailer bow roller to a Stoltz bow roller. We're going to talk about that today. Some of the reasons we decided to get into this business and some of the benefits for buying a jet boat pilot optimized Stoltz bow roller as compared to going out and buying it on your own from another supplier. Truth is you can buy a Stoltz roller much like what we sell uh, from just about any marine supplier but in those types of stores they don't have the specialty uh, background that we have with jet boats so they don't know how to recommend to you the best or most optimal fit for your trailer and for your specific boat's hull. We've taken the time to line out, as you can see here with the camera, we have all the different Stoltz rollers. We've taken the time to attach each of those roller combinations on every boat we've come in contact with. Uh, and ultimately, by doing that, we found the best fit. We've curated a full library of those parts and put them on our website. It's very easy for you to select the best possible fit for your boat, click of a button. So we take some of that confusion or guesswork out of the equation and uh, helps you save some time and ultimately a better fit for you. So today's video, we want to talk about why Stoltz bow rollers. We want to talk about how to do an uninstall and also an installation and uh, lots of other points along the way. Also some new news that we're going to talk about in today's video. Something Jet Boat Pilot pulled off as a result of our association with Stoltz. We got a new roller that no one else has, but Jet Boat Pilot's got it. So we're going to talk about that too. Uh, so let's jump right in first. Uh, what you will get with your roller when you buy a Stoltz roller kit from Jet Boat Pilot. You'll see one assembled here. This is the setup for this 255, uh, this is a 252 SD. Uh, each kit's going to come basically configured like this. You're going to get a center roller, an outside set of bells along with the bolts and the washers and the nut. Um, I will uh, show you on the table here, kind of broken down how that looks. Each kit's going to come with its respective bell. This outside piece is called the bell. It's going to come with a washer, a bolt. It's going to come with the center roller. In this case, because we put an extra washer in between, you'll find it stacked like this. We put the roller on next. We put the next washer in place. And then the other bell, so you have two bells, one roller. Then we put the final washer in place. We have four washers. And then finally, the nylon nut. We don't tighten it all the way down, obviously, as we ship it to you, but this is the way you're going to receive it. And the reason we put four washers in there, you get two extra washers in case you need to shim that area up a little bit, in case you feel like it's a little bit loose, those extra washers give you the ability to shim it up a bit. All right, well, that's what's going to come with your kit. Next, let's talk about uh, fit and how these kits uh, were uh, curated, why we do the things that we do. Um, on the boat you see over to my uh, left here, you'll notice if you bring the camera in tight, this has a aftermarket, actually it's a Stoltz roller already installed, and uh, you'll notice that it's a relatively small package. Uh, it's got a very small outer bell here. This is a Stoltz roller. It's got a smaller, I think it's a 446 center roller there. And the user in this particular case wanted very little contact did not want to see a lot of uh, touching on the hull because he didn't want to have less abrasion, less rubbing. But in our opinion, this is not optimal. Really what is ideal, according to the manufacturer, you want to try to put a set of bells on the outside that has sort of a V-shape to it, and that helps to guide the bow to the center of the winch stand as the boat's coming in. And then you want a roller that's going to also help cradle that, mimic the shape as best as possible, and allow it to roll freely. So in this case, we feel like this is not optimal. We're going to show you an optimal setup with the new uh, 414. That's a Jet Boat Pilot exclusive. All right, so we've talked about what comes with the kit. Now let's talk about this boat here. This is a 2021 Yamaha 252 SD. Uh, traditionally from the factory, it's going to come with a kind of a yellowish looking uh, bargain economy level kind of bow roller. This customer actually has replaced his with a Stoltz roller, but in most cases, bow rollers that come on the trailer from the factory are more on the economy scale. 
the reason why people are buying Stoltz rollers is we hear that these factory kind of Econo rollers uh, tend to be very abrasive or uh, they're not great for the hull. There's a lot of abrasion. So a lot of times when they're installed, they're crushed or they're, they're uh, tightened too much with the bolts. Uh, and so that leads to scratches on the hull. Obviously, your brand new boat, you don't want to scratch your hull up. The Stoltz rollers, one of the reasons people are really fond of these is they're made from a urethane material that tends to be a lot more forgiving, a lot less abrasion. Uh, it's, it's better for the hull when it comes into contact. So although we cannot guarantee that it will not scratch, it's a whole lot less likely with a Stoltz roller that you're going to get a scratch versus with the traditional uh, factory bow roller uh, comes with a treader from the factory. Um, so that's the reason people are, are adding these rollers. Uh, you get a chance to put something on that's going to help keep your boat in great shape. Uh, let's talk about the uninstallation now. We're going to talk about how to take it off. We're also going to show you how to put, put a uh, Stoltz roller on your boat. Um, we always already have set this up. We have a couple of wrenches here. Both are three quarter inch uh, ratchets. You can use a ratchet and a wrench or whatever. Um, you're going to want to uh, basically take the nut off the other side here. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to loosen our strap here and just kind of back that off a little bit. Once we back this off, we're now going to try to loosen, uh, take some of the pressure off the roller so we can get this out. If you are doing this installation and your boat is on the trailer, be very cautious. If the bow is really pressing down hard into this roller, there's a chance that the fiberglass is going to come into contact with this metal here. I checked it ahead of time to make double sure that was not going to be the case on this boat, and it is not. But you want to be really cautious. I'm applying just a little bit of up pressure here, and you can see as I take this off that the hull is not contacting the, the mount point there. So uh, be cautious. You may have to do this install with the boat in the water if the boat is really bearing down hard on top of that roller there. Um, also too, if you wanna have a towel handy or some foam or cardboard or something just to kind of wedge in place there if you feel uncomfortable, just to protect that bow while you're in this transition period. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our kit here. This is the, a brand new, really never seen before part that we were able to get Stoltz to make for us, uh, specifically designed for these 252s, 250s, 255s. It's essentially like the 446 that we had before, but if you notice that V shape there, a lot of people really expressed a desire to have that V shape, but they wanted the width of this 446. So we heard you, we listened, we got them to, to listen, and they made us something special. So uh, we're going to install that now and show you the kind of this new uh, special adaptation for the 252, 250, 255. Uh, this works really the same for FSH as well as the sport models. Uh, so if you're asking that question, I believe it's exactly the same on the, on the bow roller there on your FSH. Uh, it'll all be listed on our website. So if you decide that you want to buy one, just go to the jetboatpilot.com website, click on your model, it'll auto-populate the prescribed uh, Stoltz roller for your boat. All right, starters. Bring the camera to this side here. I want to show you uh, how this install is done. You're going to take your bell, washer, bolt. We're going to slide it through this outside here. And before I do this, I want to note this stainless steel bolt here, these threads are delicate. You don't want to push this in and then run, run, uh, run the risk of damaging these threads, running it through that, that uh, little opening there. So be cautious as you slide this in. If you damage a thread, the nut going on potentially could get locked. Uh, so be cautious with that. So we're going to pass this bolt through. As we pass it through, we're going to uh, place our roller in the center and line it up. You may have to put a little shoulder into it in some cases. Just want to make sure that we get it lined up. All right, let's go to the other side. In this case, because the roller sits nice between those mount points and it doesn't have a lot of slop, we did not use those extra couple of washers, so those will just be spares. I'm going to go ahead and take the roller on the, or the, the bell on the opposite side, add the washer. And then this nylock nut, and this is a half a nylock, it's kind of called a jam nut. And we use those now because it's much easier to get the thread to pass all the way through than it was on the previous, kind of these taller nuts here. All right, I'm gonna tighten it down. Three quarter and a three quarter. I want to fully engage this nut here so that we've got threads exposed out the back side. 
always want to have at least about a thread or two coming out. I also want to tighten it enough to where you feel like you don't have any side to side motion. So I'll lift up on the boat here with my shoulder. I'm going to show you, see how we're able to rotate. We want freedom of rotation. We want all three pieces to rotate without any binding. As long as you have that, um, that ability for it to roll as well as that, that nut and bolt doesn't have a lot of lateral motion, you got a good install. So that's the prescribed installation procedure to put your, your Stoltz roller on. While we're at this point in the video, I want to show you something else. Bring the camera around over this perspective. I want to show something else. Notice how this V-shape of the boat here on the front of the bow matches this V-shape of the roller and the V-shape of the, of the bells. That's what people are looking for. That's really what we hear uh, expressed. And when people say that they want to have the best possible fit, this new roller that we're now, uh, this is a Jet Pilot exclusive, gives us the width that we needed as well as that V-shape. So people are a lot happier with it. See how it's cradling now? Bring the camera back in here in the center. See how we have these bells and this roller is all kind of cradling and everything kind of finds its way to the center. That is what people really want to see. That's what our customers have expressed interest in seeing. So this is an upgrade over the previous 446. And we do this as often as we're able with what Stoltz has to offer. If we can find a V-type center roller, that's best. But ultimately, the main goal is to have the bells direct the bow to the center and the roller to simply roll. That's the key. That's what the manufacturer suggests, and that's what we recommend as well. So in this case, uh, we're showing you our best uh, options as of today. Uh, brand new from Jet Boat Pilot, something that's never been seen before. We wanted to bring that to you. It'll be available on the website. Just click the model number that you have. It'll, it'll auto-populate. All right. Well, I think that about wraps it up for Stoltz Bow Rollers. They're extremely popular. Uh, Jet Boat Pilot's proud to be in partnership with Stoltz. Uh, they've done great so thus far. Our customers seem to be very happy. If you have questions about a Stoltz roller for your boat, if you don't see it listed on the website or if you or just have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be glad to talk to you. You can find us through JetBoatPilot.com. You can also find us at JetBoaters.net, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, any of those social platforms. We're pretty much there all the time. We appreciate you watching this video. We hope it was helpful to you. Thanks. Have a great day.